starter. And in this young season, Richard, we're already seeing the evolution of some trends. Yeah, for one thing, the emphasis is on length. If you're small for your position now, you have to be so highly skilled. And even then, if you're a defensive liability, it's going to be a problem with all the switching that goes on. All right, check it out. Golden State's opening lineup. The core of the Warriors dynasty on the floor. Curry and Clay is the guards with Draymond at the four. Then it's Andrew Wiggins, and it's Jackson Davis in its center, filling out the middle. Don't you forget, Harden's won an assist title now, Harden. and this man can pass that rock. And Curry's got the ball here for the Warriors. From deep. The shot that time, not on target. Leonard with a screen on Thompson. And Harden with the slam. What an athlete Harden is. Gets off the ground so fast to hammer it down. Thompson outside. Oh my! Came close to a four point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. First team. James Harden picks one up. Richard, a lot of concern about Clay Thompson coming back from two major injuries. He's answered those questions. Yeah, it took Clay a little bit of time to get right now. He did miss two seasons, but Thompson was key in that 2022 title run. Then he had a 50 point night in 2023, so yeah. I'd say he's back. Leonard, good. And of course, we've seen Kawhi hit some huge shots from the corners throughout his career. Golden State has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Curry, no good. The Clippers have gone three of three so far from the floor. And the dunk by Leonard. He may not have that traditional power forward build, but his bounce, well, that kind of levels the playing field. Wiggins against George. Wiggins passes to Curry. Down low. Here's Jackson Davis. And that one is hammered home. Just an unselfish play from Curry. Always ready to move the ball and his body to help an open shooter. Here's Harden. And a foul called on the way up. So Stephen he'll take Curry. two from the free throw line. First personal foul. It's on Stephen first Curry. Team. And he makes a first. The South ball hard, lucky lefty. He's a tremendous offensive player who can pretty much get triple doubles in bunches. No surprise there. He's about as automatic as it gets from the stripe. I hope I didn't jinx him. Now here's Curry. Last game he had 34 points. Outside, green. The kick out, Curry. Down to five on the shot clock. Thompson, a screen on Powell. And here's Curry for three. Nails it from three. three point. Curry's got six. Just another day at the office for Mr. Curry. Here's Harden. And then Harden with the jam. And one move ahead of the defense. A solid pick. And then the monster dunk to complete the play. Well done. Well, great chemistry on display. He understood where to put the screen in order to free up his teammate. And so it's Golden State with it, following the score by the Clippers. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Two minutes now Powell. The first. We saw him with 19 his last time out. Harden into the lane. And then Harden with the jam. Okay, I see the explosion. Look, Harden never ceases to amaze me. Curry against Powell. Curry, no good. Defense kind of rolled the dice there, and I'm a little surprised that it ended up going their way with the miss. Leonard passes to Powell. 127 left in the opening quarter. Here's George. Got a piece of it. Harden against Wiggins. And stolen by Leonard. Outside Harden. Pass to George. Shoots over Curry. 
Oh, nice D from Curry. How did he break that one? He smoked it. Everything was set up for that to be an easy basket. And Kawhi Leonard gets a whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. And some changes here for the Warriors. Looney's checked in for Draymond Green. Kaminga comes in for Wiggins. And it's Chris Paul in for Curry. Jackson Davis. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. He gives up a bit of size at the center position, but his leaping ability, well, let's just say that makes up for it. Here's Harden. And Harden with the slam. He's not going to beat you with speed. Harden uses his footwork and his strength to create separation on his way to the rim. James Harden, second personal foul. That's good from Paul. And the Clippers will go for a different look here. Plumley's checked in for Zubats. Tice comes in for Leonard. Man, he's checked in for Powell. And it's Westbrook in for Harden. Sharich checks in for the Warriors. Stephen Curry comes in for Klay Thompson. Look, Westbrook does not mind contact while he's going to the bucket. In fact, he welcomes it. Klay Thompson, he's checked in for the Warriors. And he can't hit the second. A chance to go two for one. And you really must play this just right. Nice Jumping shot by Kaminga. And this is what Paul is known for. He is a shrewd distributor with a pass-first mentality. The drive by Westbrook. Here's Mann, defended by Thompson. Six on the shot clock. And George launches it from deep. It's George on the wing. Second shot opportunity, and he lays it in. When you use it right, the pump fakes as effective a move as there is. The three from Thompson. Can't hit that one. Good scoring in this one as we conclude the first quarter. Clippers ahead, up by five. And we'll be back in just a minute with the start of the second quarter. For those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. Let's get a quick check of the scoring breakdown here for the Clippers. They've started the game the right way, penetrating the defense and attacking the rim. They're just not settling. Another thing they're doing well early on is moving the ball, playing selfless basketball, and getting everybody involved on the offensive end. So on the floor for Golden State, small lineup with Paul and Curry pairing up in the backcourt. Kevon Looney is out there with Dario Saric. And it's Kaminga in at the three. And you see the creativity George has. Just comfortable operating and screening roles and taking what he sees. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. The Warriors are pursuing a two-timeline approach, competing for titles while also building a young core for their future. It does not come cheap. This season, they're paying record-high luxury tax with the total team payroll around half a billion. Brian, the commitment to winning now and down the road is evident. Deep pockets, Allie, that's for sure. Thank you. Here's Paul. The Clippers getting their last shot to go. Grant, we saw a lot of lower seeds winning series in last year's playoffs. Is the regular season losing importance? You know, B.A., there's greater parity, which means less separation in the league, especially between the top seeds and the bottom seeds. But still, the league needs to make sure regular season games do matter. Now here's Tice. Tice sets a screen. Five to shoot. Westbrook, the pass to Tice. And finished off by Tice. This is what you love to see Westbrook setting up his teammates on time, on target. Paul finds Kaminga. And here's Paul, pounded by Westbrook. Paul looking over the floor. It's good. Sharic has got his first basket. Such a good facilitator. If your defense makes a mistake, Paul will find the open man. Time, Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. This game coming after the loss versus the Kings. Defensively, they weren't up to the task. Didn't play as a cohesive unit, and it really hurt them. Right, they looked like they were asleep on that end of the floor. No one was talking. No one was paying attention. And a new group getting ready for the Clippers. 
Zubak, he's checked in for Plumley. Leonard comes in for Tice. Norman Powell, he's checked in for Mann. And it's James Harden in for Russell Westbrook. Timeout call, the Clippers. And as the coaches draw up their strategies, the players staying hydrated with some Gatorade. That's key to keeping them at their best all the way up to the buzzer. It really is. And every one of those players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. The most underrated part of Harden's game is playmaking. James is amazing at setting up other players. Ball against Leonard. Wiggins outside. Takes the three. Yes! And it's Paul with the assist that time. Paul's got three assists in the game. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You train a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. And the three-pointer goes. The defense is nowhere to be found guarding the three-point shot. Outside Paul. Thompson outside. Here's Jackson Davis. He's guarded by Zubats. Hard to turn down a look that good. Still, long twos are losing favor, and misses like that are the reason why. Now here's Harden. Ten points for him. Two minutes remain in the first half. Two Pass to Zubox. Zubox, screen. Throws it up high. Throw it down on the lob. A very good passer. Harden is capable of leading the league in assist. Harden against Paul. There's the drive. And here's Wiggins. From downtown, another three for Golden State. They are shooting it well from beyond the arc right now. Los Angeles has gone four or five from outside the arc in this one. Now here's Harden. He's guarded closely. A nice shot by Zubac. They just look so overwhelmed inside. That's why they continue to get attacked. Up top, Paul. Defended by Harden. Paul passes to Thompson. Misses the three. And their free throws have dropped off in this quarter. They're settling for too many jump shots right now. And he'll take a trip to the line for two. Clearly got fouled on that shot. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. Norman Powell. First free throw is good. And the Clippers making a change here. Mann's checked in. And so Powell nails them both. And so it's Paul who brings up the ball for the Warriors. They trail by 16. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing that last matchup with Phoenix. It really just wasn't a fun game for them. Their offense looked stagnant, and they couldn't get anything going. It seemed like any time they sprung together a few baskets, they just went ice cold so quickly. Paul for three. The rebound by Mann. Los Angeles has got it going from deep. Three for three so far in the quarter. Harden the pass to Leonard. Leonard with a screen on Paul. And he lobs it up and stolen by Green. And here's Thompson for three. The Clippers grab the miss. And at home for the next game, it'll be New York pulling in to face him. Left side, Harden. And so it's Kawhi Leonard making highlights for the Los Angeles Clippers. Helping them space the floor. Two triples in that quarter. Three for the game. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Here with Coach Steve Kerr, your defense struggling to contain them in the first half. How do you remedy it? We got to uh, get back in transition. We got to make them feel us. You know, they're just running anything they want. We've got to at least disrupt the stuff they're trying to do. Thank you, Coach. Thanks very much, Allie. We'll be back soon to start the second half of basketball. Welcome. First up on the agenda tonight, let's see how the Rookie of the Year race is...
Chet Holcomb's basically positionless. He handles the ball. He shoots like a guard. He has the versatility of a forward. He's, what, about seven? And now talking about our current game, got to be impressed with the big halftime lead for the Clippers. They put on a clinic offensively. Great ball movement, player movement. Guys are shooting it well. Everything's in sync. Which is why they are up big. Glad you could join us. Ryan Anderson and crew are ready to take it away for the start of the third quarter. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. It's been one outstanding game from Kawhi Leonard. Yeah, they've done an amazing job of creating room to operate for him. And then, of course, executing. I like how they came into this one with a game plan, and they're just going out and executing it. Terrific job. George and Kawhi, the talented forward pair. James Harden out there with Norman Powell. And it's Zubats in at the five. That's the group starting the second half for Ty Lue. Well, Richard, as the first overall pick, some of the highest expectations were put on Wiggins at a very young age. Yeah, while playing high school ball, some recruiter analysis called him the Michael Jordan of Canada. That's some big shoes to fill. If it's not the highest expectation ever, I don't know what is. Wiggins outside. With the drive. Tipped. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Brian, after 941 days sidelined by an ACL and then an Achilles tear, Clay Thompson's back doing what he loves. He said, quote, in the beginning, I was so eager to prove that I'm still great. Now I'm more relaxed, reminding myself that this is a dream that I'm living. What matters most is just having fun and playing hard, and all the big nights, they'll come. Brian? Yeah, that's the right perspective, Allie. Thanks for that. And so it's Golden State with it. After the Clippers picking up a basket just a moment ago. And that one's good. Green. Green. Mr. Reliable. You can count on Green to show up every night. There's a screen. Harden, the pass to Leonard. Ooh, and Leonard throws it down. And communication made that play. Leonard just reads his teammate and knows exactly where to be for the alley-oop. Now here's Curry. He's got six. No good on the triple. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. Leonard against Curry. Double team on Leonard. George finds Leonard. Just five to shoot. Outside for Harden. Let's it go from deep. Rebounded by Green. The Warriors have gotten two of four shots to go since the break. Leonard with the ball. Green picks him up. And it's slammed in by Zubats. And that was a good read from Leonard. Noticing the overcommitment and exploiting it. Pass to Jackson Davis. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. <laughs> Throws it down emphatically. He's got serious hops, right? You add that to his ability to penetrate, that's two easy points. Now here's George. Five points in the game. Drops in the layup for two. George has got seven. They have no answer defensively inside. Now a timeout called by Golden State. Come on and get loud right now, man. It's time to cheer on goal. Clippers, Terry. And the new group getting ready for the Clippers. Plumley's checked in for Zubats. Tice comes in for Leonard. Man, he's checked in for George. And it's Westbrook in for James Harden. Chris Paul, he's checked in for the Warriors. And here's Thompson for three. Yes! And it's Paul with the assist that time. Three-pointer. Paul's got five assists tonight. The three-point shooting has been on point here in the second half. And it's Westbrook off the drive. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Even though it wasn't a clear path, he knows that that's a shot he should make more often times than that. And the basket is good. He got it to go, and he took the bump. So a free throw coming up, an opportunity at a three-point play. And the Warriors making a switch here. Looney's checked in. 
And when healthy, Clay remains a dynamic player, lights out scorer who often defends well. Westbrook, the pass to Plumley. Slam! Dunk by Plumley! He knew exactly where his man was going to be. Outstanding lead pass. Pass to Looney. One fourteen left in the third. Back to Paul. Shoots over Westbrook. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. And it's Powell with the ball for the Clippers. Westbrook with it. Now Wiggins defending. And that one's good. Westbrook's got his second bucket of the night. That's ten straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. And he makes it. Chris Their Paul. spacing isn't quite as good as it was in the first half. They may need to hit more threes to stretch that defense. And here's Westbrook. Five points in the game. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. Check this out. That's only their second turnover tonight. They've kept great control of the run. The Warriors have gone six for nine in the half. Pass to Looney. Powell against Curry. Outside Paul. Over Westbrook. Ball can't get it to go. They're losing because he is struggling so bad, and he has not looked comfortable all game. If they take their time, this will be the final possession of the quarter. Yeah, it's all about clock management with these situations. Let's see how it plays out. Up top, Powell. That one's good for two. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. That's a great possession. Put your best players in a position to succeed. And so it's Los Angeles ending the quarter with a 20-point edge. They know Curry can go for 50, 60 any night. So they're forcing someone else to beat him. Back to the game after this break. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. Woo, I'm fired up to see this dish one more time. It's always great to see your two guards share the wealth. Not just playing selflessly, but also making a smart decision with the ball. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. On the floor for the Warriors. Small lineup with Paul and Curry pairing up in the backcourt. Dario Saric is out there with Kevon Looney. And it's Kaminga in at the small forward. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Above the rim, Westbrook making his plays in front. And the Warriors shooting at about 44% so far. Right side, Paul. There's a screen by Kaminga. Looking to get it going. And that one's good. Paul. See, it's the accuracy of Paul's shooting that makes the mid-range look easy. He can take that shot all night. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. All right, let's pretend you are Adam Silver for a day, Grant. You get one crazy rule to test out. What's it going to be? Oh, man. One crazy rule. Wow, great question. Well, the WNBA has tried this in All-Star games. Live ball substitutions, a little bit like hockey. Keep the game flowing. Chaos to uh, be interesting, be fun, be very, very entertaining. Woo! <laughs> BA, that's lit. Ferocious all the way. Man, that was good. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk over. And something fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. And we see it so often. One little tweak to the game plan and everything falls into place for a team. Let's give a round of applause for your Clippers. Timeout. 
Zubats, he's checked in for Plumley. Leonard comes in for Tice. Paul George, he's checked in for Mann. And it's Harden in for Westbrook. Now here's George. Out to Leonard. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And what a move by Leonard. Baiting the defender to get them where he wants them. And a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Clippers. Uh, they're moving the ball around so well, guys. Quick passes, letting the next guy do the work if you don't have a look. And also the number of points they've scored in the paint has been impressive. This coaching staff encouraging them to keep going inside. Now here's Curry. Pass to Looney. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Clippers. And here's a look at what's coming up for the Los Angeles Clippers. On Saturday, they'll host the New York Knicks. And then Monday, they'll begin a road trip starting in Indiana, going up against the Pacers. What a great opportunity for this team to take a step forward. They have some tough road games coming up, and that kind of stretch can bring a team together. Winning some of these games would be huge for their overall confidence. Look at those handles. Look at James Harden getting crafty with the ball, mixing up the defender. The three from Curry. Connects from downtown. Guy's just ridiculous. He's just an absolute surgeon when he has the ball. This man is surgical. There is no way to slow him down when he wants to score. Now here's Harden. Leonard for three. It's good. Off the assist from Harden. Leonard's got nine points here in the second half. Yeah, he's in his bag from beyond the arc right now. You see his confidence. And of course, it helps space the floor, which gives this offense more room to operate. Here's Harden. Leonard with a screen on Curry. Oh, there's the alley. It's stolen by Looney. Here's Paul. The kick out, Curry. Back to Kaminga. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. And RJ Parity has been a lead goal. The last season was as closely contested as we've seen in recent memory. Yeah, hopefully it's a sign of things to come. And with the new CBA, I think it will. While super teams do capture the imagination, I think a healthy competition is always for the best. Green's checked in for the Warriors. Clay Thompson comes in for Paul. Ooh, and Leonard throws it down. And just continuing to pile it on. Leonard is such a ruthless player. Curry passes to Thompson. And there's the foul. It'll go on Norman Powell. That's his first foul of the game. Wiggins, he's checked in for Kaminga. substitution, number 22. Andrew and we're about three minutes into the fourth now. Thompson, no good. Los Angeles has gone six of eight from the three-point line in this matchup. Oh, got that one up quick. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. You love it. And guys, to go on a big run, get some breathing space. It has to be a great play on each end. Now here's Thompson. And it's good. Play Assisting on the play was Curry. The moment that last three went in, Thompson must have been thinking, get me the ball, I'll answer it with a three. That one's wide left. The Warriors have got four of eight shots to drop here in this final quarter. A little over three and a half minutes in the books now in this fourth quarter. And let's face it, this one was never really in question. They came out with purpose and just overwhelmed the opposition. A great win for the Clippers. And it was a big-time performance across the board. They looked like they were having fun out there, Grant. <laughs> yeah, B.A., it was almost like watching a cat play with a mouse. I mean, they did pretty much anything they wanted to do out there today. And so this will lock down their 15th win of the year. That'll put a little extra meaning on their next game. No team wants to go 0 for 4 against an opponent, no matter who it is. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for Kawhi Leonard. And he's been a well-oiled machine on offense, keeping things simple in this end, getting the looks that he wanted, knocking him down. And you know, guys, I mean, he is a solid free throw shooter. And of course, Leonard has everything in his game. And the Warriors going with a whole new group out there. Paul with it. Picked up by Powell. Pass to Sharich. 
Here's Pajemski. To baseline, Jay. That shot, no good. 44 seconds left in the fourth. It's George on the wing. Back to Leonard. Outside for Harden. There's the triple. The Warriors pull it in. The defense just giving him the easy look there. He's not going to miss that. And the foul called on Paul George. That'll be a second foul of the game. Substitution on the court. 26 seconds left to play in the fourth. They double-team Curry. And he takes that one up and powers it through. If you want to throw out of the double-team in the NBA, you really have to sell it. Just let the clock run out. Hey, it's time to celebrate. Ooh, and Leonard throws it down. They got a big lift from their crowd tonight, giving them the energy they needed. You have to love their effort. This game wasn't handed to them. They took it. Thompson outside. So it's the Clippers winning this one easily. We saw two different teams tonight. One played with confidence, operating flawlessly. The other just looked lost. And the energy in this building was awesome. The crowd was involved from the jump. And once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see how it all came together. And now let's check in with Allie LaForce with the player of the game. Allie. Thanks a lot, B.A. Well, Kawhi, you had it going inside and out. It seemed like you were getting wherever you wanted on the court. Did it feel that way? Uh, it was moving well. Um, you know, overall, the team played well. Um, they got me in my spots. They made shots open the floor for me. Always humble. Back to you guys. Allie, thank you as always. And that'll do it, folks. This is Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching. Now it's time to present our New Balance Player of the Game, Kawhi Leonard.